Hello and welcome to our first class on Digital Electronics. This is an easy course for first year students doing computer science and therefore it isn't going to tax your brain too hard. Additionally, you should find the material very simple and easy to swallow. Now, logic gates make very basic decisions about how to respond to the digital signals at their inputs. Let's talk about horses instead. I know this may sound strange, but the idea becomes very simple when we consider horses in a paddock. Here we have a paddock with two gates and the horses can come out of either gate. This is an example of an OR operation. When the two gates are open, or should we say in digital electronic terms, when we have uh, a one or a zero, one gate closed or the other gate open, the horses can still get out. Only when both gates are closed can we be sure that the horses cannot get out of their paddock. So only when we have two zeros, which is significant of being uh, both gates being closed, we will have a zero output, meaning, meaning no horses can escape. If we open either gate by putting a one, then the horses can get out and we will have a one. So either a one on either of those gates will give us a one output. Horses will escape. Now let's consider this kind of a paddock here now. We have the two gates in a sort of configuration where there's a space that we can have the horses between the two gates. Now while you might not have this arrangement in a normal paddock, if you had horses with fleas, uh, ticks, and you wanted to pick them off before putting them into the paddock with the rest of the clean horses, you would trap the horses between the two gates and you would deal with them, spray them, remove the ticks, and only afterwards would you open the inner gate and allow the horses to mingle with your safe and clean horses inside of your paddock. But this arrangement affords an example of the AND operation or the AND logic gate. Only when we have a 1 signifying an open gate on both of the gates will the horses be able to escape signifying a 1 on the output. So if you don't understand, listen to it carefully and go back and you should be able to realize that when we open a gate, we have to have both of them open and horses will escape, which means we have an output. The horses are coming out of their paddle. Okay, now we take a look at the meaning of these digital signals. And uh, digital signals are binary in nature, which means they only have two possible conditions. On or off, one or zero, voltage or no voltage. It's so simple. Okay, and it's basic to our understanding of the light bulb. The light bulb. Now, Binary arithmetic, the way to calculate with only ones and zeros, is going to take on a new importance for you in this course. You probably did it in maths before when you study number systems, but the binary number system is very important in digital computers. Okay, so we will get to that later in the course. Now, just you remember at this point that the gate is either open or closed, one or zero, we have no other option. Now, we have listed below the various ways in which we interpret an AND gate. We show you the maths expression, which uses the multiplication symbol for AND. 
we show you the electronic symbol which you would see on a diagram. This shows an AND gate with two inputs. And we show you the truth table that shows where, when we will get an output. You can go back to our horse scenario and you will see that we only get an output of one when we have both gates open. Both gates are a one. Okay, that's the only time the horses will escape. Now we look at the R scenario here and uh, you can see for yourself, if you've been paying attention, that it's similar to the other horse paddock. We have the change of symbol. We have the same two inputs. We, have a, we use the mathematical and, sorry, the mathematical addition symbol for the R gate. And when we look at the truth table, we will see that if we have either one or both gates open, the horses will escape and we have an output as shown by the one there in that truth table. Okay, so we should be good to go, but there's only one more gate that makes all this become so very powerful uh, that we can actually build a house on top of it, and that is the ability to reverse a state. We have the capability to turn a zero into a one or a one to a zero simply by using the not gate. That just does that operation, and we mathematically express that by putting a bar over our input variable okay we've used the letter a and b quite freely in these uh videos but the letters the capital letters of the alphabet are used as binary variables so when we write an a we may not know what is inside of that a but it can only be either a zero or one okay so keep in your mind when you see the letters a, B, C, D, E, F, G, and X, Y, and Z, that these letters can either be a zero or a one. And you should be well on the way to success. Now, using only the truth tables given so far and all the information that has been presented, I have compiled a list of rules that you can spend some time satisfying yourself that they are correct. I've done it already. You need to do it now. Okay, so the first set here combines an unknown A, which could either be a 0 or 1, with a known A, 0 or 1, and tells you what your output is going to be. The second set does the same for the AND operation and tells you what the output is going to be. Finally, we have the NOT gate. And all that little expression shows you there is that if we NOT a NOT gate, we get back to what we had originally. So if we started with a zero and we put it through a NOT gate, it becomes a one. We put it through another NOT gate, it goes back to being a zero. So that's the meaning of the two little lines on top of the A. We have two NOT gates in series, meaning that we have NOTed it twice. Now, you have seen that it doesn't really matter the order of the A or the B. We could reverse the letters and the behavior would still be the same. So that is shown there in that little expression where we show that whether we put the A in front of the B or the B in front of the A doesn't really make any difference whatsoever. Now, what about association and distribution? Here we've increased it to three letters to show you that if we're trying to have more inputs, say A, B, and C, we have three inputs into our AND gate, into our NOT gate, it doesn't matter which order we do. So we can combine the A with the B and then take the output of that and combine it with the C, or we can do it the other way around and combine the B and the C in an OR gate and then put the output of that into another OR gate with an AND, uh, sorry, with an A 
coming in and so we will have the same identical animal now when we come down below to the last two lines we have a regular mathematical expression in line three we uh, multiply the a by the b and by the c and that's a thing that you do in mass uh, when solving uh, your equations quite regularly but we must be careful with the very last line and i always draw students attention to it because it's not normal in regular mathematics in the last line to do that in fact this rule in the last uh, line here is only true for the uh, binary digital equations that we are dealing with it does not apply when dealing with normal numbers which you would do in your arithmetic or in your algebra okay so it's not normal algebra so you uh, students don't normally remember this or see it when they're looking at their equations okay so we're going to prove now two very useful identities i've got the identities there in brown a or a b is equal to a and i've got the proof over on the left side using the simpler rules that were already presented so you can have fun going back and checking that so you can rewind this video a million times till you're happy with that now we do another simple identity here where we say that a or a bar b is equal to a or b and as you can see i have once again proved it from the various rules that i presented in the previous boards that you saw now i'm just going to spend a second here with de morgan's because the form in which i've presented de morgan's here the graphical form shows you that if we not the inputs as well as the outputs we can turn an and behavior into an or behavior or an or behavior into an and behavior and in thinking about it this is the simplest way to sort of present that idea to students that an and can serve as an or and an or can serve as an and if we have enough not gates to play with and i have given uh the equations for it there where once again when i put a bar over the entire operation it means that i am noting the output so in other words a bar and b bar is your and operation in the top there and then the output is knotted so i have to put a bar across the entire expression and this will become more happy we will have lots more time to play with this in future videos now it's important that you be able to actually solve stuff and uh, one of the biggest things in digital electronics is being able to reduce to simpler circuits now if we can reduce expressions and get the same behavior that means we can save money manufacturers are in the business of saving money and they will be able to make more money on their product if it's cheaper and uses less parts so there is no reason why they would put in a lot of logic gates if they're not really required so there is a monetary payoff as well as an operational payoff because the less parts we have the less things there are to go wrong if we can simplify everything before we build it so it's important after we've come up with an idea and we've got it on paper and we've written down all of our expressions for the various gates and what they're supposed to do that we apply some sort of logic and reasoning to see if we can simplify it so the simplification of expressions which you did in normal arithmetic and maths as well is an important part of this course because it has a monetary advantage and an operational advantage you can build your project in the lab using less parts and that less connections and less wire it will more likely to work okay more likely to work the first time around without having to call your uh, lab demonstrator so here we give you a simple expression which can simplify we give you the assurance this can simplify using what you've learned so far in the previous thing rewind it and have fun spend all day with my video and i love you for it and there you can see how we've done it the steps that we've done now i've put in all the steps after you become a real boss at this thing you can eliminate some steps from this uh solution 
uh, because if you can see it, you don't need to write it down. But because at this point in time, we're just referring back to the original rules that I put on previous slide, I have included every single possible step in the solution to that problem. And the next one waiting for you to solve over here has four terms connected by R signs. Each of those things in between the R signs is a term, okay, a term of the expression. So we're going to simplify this now, bingo, bingo, bang. And it's a little longer than the other one. But at the bottom, you see that we have reduced it from four terms to three terms, and each term is just a letter. And once again, we encourage you to take the time to actually understand each step of this solution. I've provided everyone. And uh, feel free to post your questions in the comments below. We give a limited amount of support to our valued students. So have a wonderful day and see you in the next video.